New tonight, a high school student says one of her classmates has been touching her inappropriately, and she says it's happening at school. Now her mother is speaking out with a message she says all women need to hear. Channel 2's Brandon Walker live at Cypress Springs where the alleged incidents occurred. Brandon? And Dominique, these are very serious allegations, but we start now with an editorial note, and that is KPRC usually doesn't name the names of an alleged victim in a sexual assault case or, in the case here at Cypress Springs High School, the parent of an alleged assault victim. But this mother says that she wanted to show her face and put a name to it. That's where we start tonight with her explanation as to why. I want to empower women to not hide in the shadows. Kimberly Fryer says that's why she's speaking out, also showing her face on camera. There are plenty of things to fear in life. However, you can't fear for standing up for what's right. What's wrong, according to Fryer, is an incident or several involving her daughter, a sophomore at Cypress Springs High School, and a male student, a classmate of hers. And she told me that a boy at school recently had grabbed her by the throat and told her, um, you like that, huh? And then on another occasion, he put his hand all the way up her skirt. Fryer says she filed a report with SciFair ISD police Wednesday night. Thursday morning, she met with school administrators. In a statement, SciFair ISD said, quote, we take matters of inappropriate behavior very seriously. Once campus administration was made aware of the alleged incident, they immediately removed the student from the classroom and are conducting an investigation. She just doesn't feel comfortable. She doesn't feel comfortable, you know, seeing him in the hall, seeing him at lunch or anything like that. I've asked for her to be transferred out of school. That is, that's my desire. Fryer adds there's a bigger picture here. As allegations of sexual harassment and assault flood headlines, she wants victims, no matter their age, to feel comfortable coming forward. I'm not going to be weak. I'm going to show that he's, I'm not scared of him. And Fryer says that she doesn't think the move at the moment of moving that student out of the classroom is the right move. She thinks that there should be more here. But again, the school district tells us that they are still investigating this matter, including disciplinary actions. Fryer adds that she wants her daughter to be transferred, and that's what she's hoping for. We'll keep you posted on this story as it continues to be worked out. We are live tonight in Cyprus. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.